was very young when I got uh, my first metal record. I had uh, my, my parents were very musical, and I grew up listening to the Beatles and uh, rock and roll from the 60s and 70s. And as a young kid, I got really into early Michael Jackson stuff, and then I started skateboarding and hanging out with guys that were trading tapes, and so I started getting um, punk rock uh, cassettes of stuff that was going on in the U.S., and then I think my very first uh, taste of metal was um, probably Peace Cells by Megadeth. That and um, S.O.D. Speak English or Die, I got around the same time, and those two records made me, it was all the aggression of the punk rock music and all the skate music that we were listening to, but it had the technicality of guys that really spent a lot of time playing and wanting to be good at their craft. And that really made me feel like, instead of maybe learning how to drive a race car or being an Air Force pilot, I could learn how to play guitar or drums you know, really well and do something with music. I'm not sure, I actually do remember the very first time I heard a metal record. I'm not really sure. And that, well, I just think the first time I heard music that was I guess aggressive music, it was just kind of an awakening. I was just really excited that something like that was out there and it really um, connected with me. Probably got into metal around 16, because I had two older sisters, so they were into rock and stuff, and I'd get music through them, and there's really no radio station to get metal. Um, To this day, there's still KLOS in LA, and it's probably a station like that where I heard Judas Priest, you know, and I heard... Living After Midnight or Breaking the Law, you know. Not their heaviest song, but the ones that get on the radio. And I knew I liked it. Um, And then you get the record and do your homework and see if it's better. And, you know, of course, for anybody that likes metal the way I do, I don't like the hits. I like the the heavier, you know, more abstract songs. And that record, you know, you put it on and you hear Rapid Fire, and you're like, now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I remember it was Metallica, uh, Red Lightning. The same thing, yeah, same thing. Same thing for me. (laughs) <laughs> uh, the first first one I heard was um, was I uh, I saved up all my allowance for uh, Kiss the Originals. I got Kiss the Original. My my dad had uh, uh, Black Sabbath records, um, and so I, I I guess that and Blue Cheer was like the first kind of like metal things I heard. But the first ones that I purchased was Kiss the Originals. It came in a three record packet with some uh, 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 glue-on tattoos and other, uh, you know, Kiss Swindle stuff. It was pretty cool. First time for me, I was actually scared because um, I have an uncle who's like 10 years older than me. So when I was about 8 years old, he was 18, and we would go visit my grandparents, and I would go hang out in my uncle's room. And he was, you know, my cool uncle because he was 18 and he had all these cool posters on his walls and he had a big collection of records. And uh, so I would sit and I would look at all the album covers and I would say like, oh, Frank Zappa, what's that? Or this or that. And then I remember looking at the cover of uh, Black Sabbath's first album and it was it was scary to me because it's like a witch and you can't really tell what it is. And, and uh, I remember I said, what's Black Sabbath? And he said, that's acid rock. I mean, we're talking, this is like 1971 or something. Metal wasn't around. Yeah. And uh, so he put it on and, you know, his room was kind of dark and he had all these black light posters up. And uh, that album starts with the sound of the rain and and all that. And then the song Black Sabbath starts. And as an eight-year-old, it was really scary to me. I had no idea what I was listening to. I had never heard anything like it before in my life. And we listened to a couple songs and um, that was pretty much the beginning of my path right there is when I started thinking like that's the kind of music I want to listen to. 